leaders and saviors of the wild life for oblivion and ecstasy. Yeah, Pads. Morning. Ooh, I am Ninja Paddy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. You sort of look like a big bullet. I heard a um, down. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, yeah, you join us uh, for very cold, blustery digs today. Um, it's freezing and we've had to come into this lower field because it's a bit more, just slightly sheltered. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll find something good and we will be rocking out but we're having fun this week it's bad news from the 1980s Rick Mail, Aid Edmondson, Nigel Planner and Peter Ridgerson and their send up heavy metal band bad news yay <laughs> it's not a lot <laughs> <laughs> Pads is going in early. He's got a signal, it really is cold and very, very windy today, so you know, sound will be affected unfortunately, but we will rock, don't we? Well my first hole is bad news I'm afraid. I've got just got a little pulley. Little pulley piece. Yeah. Victorian probably. Not great. Hey, Mr. Baseman. What is your name? My name is Colin Grigson. Yes. And playing the bass guitar is my game. Now these so are bad news. They took ages to find. Please, you can hear the signal, but you can't find it, and then suddenly it's not as deep as you think. It's almost on the surface, and. Uh, Two two casing. I force him, so I took it out. That was my force impression. Pad thinks he's got a tiny little calibre um, cannonball. It's made of iron, so why would there be an iron ball if it wasn't to be fired out of a cannon? It's certainly a possibility, isn't it? Like a little, uh, the small calibre uh, saluting cannons or something like that. Oh well, you never know pads, that could be, could be one. What the hell else could it be? Oh well. Iron bollock? Well, yeah. I don't think they ever made them. <laughs> Iron man, I'm back in time. <laughs> well, we're challenging ourselves here because it's a tough field, this one. There's not an awful lot in it, but what is in it is quite old. And you just never know. But Paddy's found this perfect example of a Tommy Tom back. Look at that. Good as new, you could use it again. Need a button or two pads or? Pants, yeah. Good as new, that one. 
Nice one, mate. Right on top of the hammy. Yeah. See the silver? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Now, let's start the full front sight in a minute. Yeah, well, that looks like an old link. Possibly a chain link, it could be a broken key. Key handle. It's quite old, quite deep. And there's a tomback. Not in such good shape. Look at the state of it. We're, we're deep again. It's an old one, certainly old. Well, I like this, this is nice. Look at that little find. That is very, very old. Wonder what that was. Very, very deep. Ooh, it's the first uh, intriguing find today. Not seen much of Paddy, he's gone at the top end. But that was something, that was something. I finally got a nice coin. It's taken a long time, but it's, a, it's somewhat cool. Not sure what it is. Take a look, it's a half penny, but not sure what king it is. Get some sun on it. There, can you see that face? I don't think it's George III. I do think it's older, so that's nice. Could it be a Charles, Charles II or something like that? Yeah, pretty sure that's not uh, not George the uh, George the Third. Yeah, it rocks. Oh, I can see some writing as well. Oh, who is that? Who is that? I see it quite clearly. Could it be a, a minor, a miner's token? Like that. The other side is not really giving away a lot. But that rocks, that's a good coin. I like it. Oh, I found something really cool. Really deep. It wasn't that deep, but about nine inches, I would say. Um, not sure what the hell it is yet. It's got glass. Oh, it's something cool. Check this out. I'll stay. Yes, we've been ready a long time. I'll stay down in the hole because uh, there's my coin. But I found this. Yes, yes. What on earth is this? It's got like a screw thread and glass. So my initial thought was, uh, well, it's a uh, you know a, a spyglass or something. Yeah? It doesn't seem to be because this end. There's a little, little knob there, and that looks, you know, it doesn't look like you can see through it, so it looks solid. So, what on earth? Why would there be glass on the inside? Oh, thread, right? What on earth is that? That really is a mystery. It's really windy now, so I'm staying right down in the hole. So, any ideas, people? Because that is really weird. He's inside it. I can't see. It's clearly old. It was 18th, 19th century, I would have thought. Woo! It rocks, whatever it is. We're going to have to look into that. Literally. Well, Pads has just found this little object. I thought it was a, the top of a spoon handle or something, but I'm not sure it is. It's too flat and it's disintegrated. But there's definitely some right in there. It certainly looks old, so got a good angle there. You can see it, see it, see exactly what it is. But I think most of it's gone. It looks like DMS or something like that, or ONS. But yeah, I don't know what that is, that's a mystery. mystery. It's old. It's an oldie. It's definitely an oldie. 
weird little thing, isn't it? Got any good jokes? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Have you? Mm -hmm. What do you call a midget suicide bomber? What do you call a midget suicide bomber? I don't know. Hardy Popper. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Party Popper. Not bad, Paz. Well done. <laughs> oh, what do you make of that, people? It's lead. There's no markings on it, I don't think. But it, it looks like some sort of stopper to me. A lead stopper. I wonder what it is. It definitely uh, shapes inwards, look, as though they fit into something. That's quite cool. Bloody hell, Vim, look, it's a marshal. Hey. I, uh, listen, mate, have you got any more of these? No, that's it. Look, Dan, uh, maybe I should play through the marshal, right? And, and you can play through my stack. No way, this one's mine now. No, well, let me just have a look. Get it off. Dan, Dan, stop being childless, Dan. Oh, for me. Well, I've got a tartar fat, a tartar fat. Look at that, that's all right. Horse brass, possibly, I don't know. Definitely a uh, shell, shell type design. Holes, well, purposeful holes, part of the pattern. Yeah, I don't know, some sort of finishing edging thing. I don't know. It drops, it drops. Last all nuts and then we'll call it a day. Go home. Yes, thank God for that, I was bored an hour ago. Pads has just pulled this one out. Uh, it's a bit of a spent one, but it's nevertheless a cartwheel. Yeah, people make Always good to find. Alright, wind's picking up, but there's a cartwheel in the ground. Yeah, decent. Hello, Lux has found a friend up there. Looks like somebody's stuck. I can just see his tail. I think we better go and investigate. In the meantime, I've found that. This is a like a little uh, Georgian strap end or something off a scarf or off a boot or something or other. It's quite tidy. Yeah, let's go and see what this sheep's up to with next. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. It's patterned. It's just patterned. Come along, let's do the Rumpty Tumpty Biss Miller business. And then we can all get off home and get some new kip. I've got to be up working the bank at 9.30. <laughs> I've found that one, which appears to be, it's a nice little coin, I think it's a George III um, farthing, tiny little coin, not much to give away on it I don't think, to give it away, don't know, can they see the date, hardly, yeah I'm pretty sure it's a George III. Right, there's Nux. He's been doing somersaults up here about this sheep. Paddy's just walking around to do the uh, honourable thing and let him, let him free, but, well, at least I think he's going to set him free. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how he gets on. Alright Nux, well done mate, you saved the day. Saved the sheep, didn't you? He's been stuck there a little while, he looks a bit tired. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's been there a day or so, I reckon. It's all right, Paddy, you'll save him, don't worry. You either want to free him or eat him, I'm not sure which, really. You have to just wait, won't you? Just wait and see what happens. Here comes Paddy, he's going to set him free next. Chill out. Stressed you right out, isn't it, buddy? Eh? Stressed you right out. Well done, Pad. No, I think he's been there a day or two, hasn't he? Absolutely shit out of mud. Oh, well, he's happy now. Back with the others. Yay! We rock! Well done, Paddy. Once again, heavy metal detecting to the rescue. Yeah, but he's absolutely starving. Just legged it over there. Eat, eat, eat! As much as you can! God. But he's been there a couple of days. He hadn't, obviously be, wouldn't have been able to eat anything in the position he was in. Stupid, Why don't stupid you, uh, sheep. Just, uh, sing the words that you had for that, Dennis? I thought they were probably good. Okay. It's quite difficult to sing a love song. It's very moving. Okay, Bad News Tour, first broadcast in 1983 84. No, um, starring oh. Aid Edmondson, Rick Mail, Nigel Painter, and Peter Richardson as the spoof rock band on tour in the UK. Very, very funny. Followed it up in 88 with more bad news where the band supposed well head did they did play at uh, castle donnington um, that year so in 86 in fact so um uh, hilarious stuff check it out if you haven't seen the two documentaries they are funny stuff really funny stuff um and to think that rick mayles left us you know to think he's passed on is just well unbelievable unbelievable what a genius what a, what a talent Sorely, sorely missed. Rick Mail, the great Rick Mail. Well, we've had to come in, we've come into the sheep field now where they are, so Nux is on his lead. I found this. What is this? Good oldie. It's quite a chunky half penny. It's quite an old one. Can't say what it is though, because I can't see. Wood stuck on it and everything. Oh well, hopefully it'll clean up. Here comes the beast again. It's actually quite good. Here comes the beast again. That's, yeah. There was. A, did you notice there was a there was There's a, a nub of a song in there. The nightmare. Here no. comes the beast again. Yeah, that's, it. Yeah, that's, that's quite good. Yeah. If I sang it, that'd be quite good. And then uh, uh, you could have like screaming on it. Nightmare. Here, Here comes, comes the beast again. 